I despise Chris. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to I love his voice <laughs> acting. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> My backhand. Everybody and welcome to Resident Evil Code Veronica. In the last episode, we got to meet the two siblings. I cannot remember their names. I'll put them on screen. And uh, we, I had to backtrack a little bit because I, um, I, I didn't pick up certain things like uh, the grenade launcher. I thought I was going to be something I'd get later on. But it turns out I was able to get it uh, now. So, oopsie. All right, and we recently just got... Actually, what did we just get? Was it this? Was it? Oh my goodness, yeah, do you know, it's been so long since I've actually played, I've just completely forgotten what uh... I... <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna do a video that explains at some point why my videos haven't been so consistent. Um, right, so what did we get? Do you know, I'm just gonna quickly look up my own video, because I need to figure out what's what exactly uh, <laughs> I left off on. Okay, yeah, so it was the uh, plate thing. I don't actually know what you're supposed to do with these things. I think I've got three now, and yet I have no idea what you're supposed to do with them. Kind of um, awkward, I will admit. I don't think there's anything else in here, was there? No, I think I've uh, got everything. Uh, did I interact with anything here? Nothing of use here, except for that creepy little baby there. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I guess I climbed down, but why am I getting all these things? <laughs> That's the thing, like, I don't know if I missed anything. Like, is there something I'm not remembering that needed the key? Hmm. This be a problem. I don't have to look up a guy that... Blair Redfield. Hold it right there. She got a rifle too! We meet each other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. Also, where were you I hiding? Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. Jesus, eat. much like your brother, you can't hit anyone at point blank range, Wait. Alexa. What's going on? Hey! What was your name again? Uh. Steve! Steve, that was your name. Ooh, shot her in the eye the as well. After her. Man, it. Are you okay? <laughs> I have actually kind of been lacking on playing this game, I will admit. I'm fine. It's just a scratch. I was going to say, Alexa seemed like she took more of a hit. She got shot in the face. Oh. See, I had a feeling this uh, statue was going to play relevant. Uh, relevance. Ooh. Is blood going this way? Wait, is that her hair? I know, for real. Yeah, that looks this like her must hair. Be. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Did not see that coming. Wait a minute. Wait. What? No! Okay, that raises question. What just happened? So there never was an Alexia after all. You mean he thinks he's two people? Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, uh, for the once. Self-destruct uh, system has been that freak. Activated. He's trying to blow us up along all with the entire facility. Evacuate. Really, see? We gotta get to that airport. Right. Okay then, yeah, let's let's get on out of here. Even though I'm pretty sure this isn't the end of the game. I'm I'm sorry we still got quite a few hours to go. Oh god, I forgot about the zombies. Farewell, zombies. I will not be partying with you. Okay, so that raises questions. So But wait, wasn't there a moment that they were in the same room together? Uh oh. Arrows! Zombie, if I were you, I'd save your own skin, otherwise you're gonna die. Don't worry about my skin. It isn't tasty. Okay. Did I never kill these zombies? I guess not. Claire, how are you missing? He's at point blank range! Oh my god. 
I don't want to waste any more arrows, so we're getting out the big guns. Alright. Doesn't look like they're walking up the stairs. Oh, no, 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 they are. They indeed are. There we go. I don't need to worry about finishing you off. You guys can go ahead and blow up. I'm getting out of here before I blow up. Hold on, was it? Yep, uh, I was going to say, isn't it where the one-armed willies are? Yep. Just slowly walk downstairs, Claire, because you're sure not going to die. Alright, let's equip you now. And really? Boop. And wait for the animation, and boop. I am not losing any more health to you bastards. Okay, um, yeah, so I am going to do an update video explaining why I haven't been so consistent with the games I'm recording. Because a lot of things have been going on at the moment with uh, family and everything like that. And not like that, editing uh, other videos like Lads Discuss Death Battle. As well as planning out my Billy Ween idea. Uh, for you don't know, I play all manner of horror games for uh, celebrating my birthday slash Halloween. Okay, I never killed you. I'm not going to waste arrows on you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I do plan to, uh, you know, f full on explain what's going on and what's exactly going to happen with gameplay videos. I do want to get back to my normal scheduling where playing certain series and stuff like that. But uh, I just haven't really had the time or energy to actually want to record a lot of these games. I've been enjoying Code Veronica though, to be fair though. I I've had fun Claire. with it. Oh Jesus, that scared me. <laughs> hey Steve. Those must be the remaining survivors. Huh. We'd better get out of here too. Right. Let's go. You know, I do actually kind of like the attention to detail. Like when you're, uh, the depending on your weapon you're holding, like Claire will actually have it in the cutscene. I don't know, little touches like that are cute. Yes, Claire, you are aware we are self-destructing. Uh, oh, okay. We gotta get to that airport. Yeah, let's use the submarine. I love the fact they both spin it like that. <laughs> I don't know, it makes me laugh. Leave me alone. Again, Claire, are you not in any hurry? We are literally gonna go kaboomies! I do kinda wonder why I've been gathering off all these talismans. So wait, is the whole island gonna blow? That's, um... Talk about one extreme. Oh. Yeah, for a guy that's got shot in his shoulder, he seems to be doing quite alright. Whereas me, I am... Oh, I am limping. I am as limping as a... Limping person. I don't know. Okay. Oh, shit. No. Claire, you got caught on your desk, you idiot. I'm not sure if this is the way I'm meant to be going now that I think about it. Well then where else am I supposed to go? Oh no. Oh yes, I am totally supposed to go here. Uh, wait, but there's no power though. Oh. Oh. Is this where... Um, you're not going to interact with it? Let's get out of here. Right, so is this where all the talismans need to go? Oh, crap, I need to, uh... Yeah. Oh, actually, let me try... Let me... Let's actually first see, uh... Yeah, let me try and put the first one in now. Because if it was actually... If it actually turned out I was meant to use this... Then, uh... Okay, yep, I was meant to put them all in here. Okay, then... I should have realised this. Uh, excuse me, uh, Steven. I need to try and find a safe room. And uh, hopefully we don't go kaboomy before that happens. No, no, don't grab me, don't grab me! Please, I do not taste good. Actually, I probably taste delicious. I don't know, I've never tried humour before, but, you know, I'm not willing to be adventurous like that. Uh, crap, where is... Was there a safe room in this area? I don't think there was. And, oh my god, am I gonna have to restart from... But... Right. A long point in the game. Oh my god, I think I am. 
Oh my god, am I really going to have to run all the way back there? I don't think I'm going to make it in time, if I had to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you know what, actually? I think I'm going to load up the previous save file, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. Missed me, bitch. Okay, let's actually grab uh, everything from in here. Well, not everything, you know, the talismans, which, um, maybe if I was paying attention a bit more, I would have saw, uh, yeah, I needed these, so, uh, oopsie on my part, people. Uh, yeah, we can leave you, and we might as well leave you. Hopefully we don't get thrown into a boss fight, because I do not have the ammunition. Now that I think about it, I probably should have saved. But yeah, with, um, before I could play like a lot of games and record them, but unfortunately with a lot of my family working from home, my brother doing a lot of shifts for his uh, multiple jobs, we gotta get to we're making it awkward to do like a lot of uh, these type of games where I'm recording and streaming. It's one of the reasons I stopped streaming actually, which I'll go into more details about everything going on, but uh, I just want to give you an idea of why there isn't as many consistent games like last year or the year before. Alright, I've got everything this time. We are out of here. So now it's good to know where all these go. So, uh, yep, we'll use you. That's the first one. Uh, I really should have paid attention more to my violence. I have to admit, when it comes to these type of games, I do notice that I'm not paying as much attention as I think I am. Especially when I'm going back to uh, edit a lot of these videos. I realise I don't actually pay that much attention to my surroundings or the hints the game gives me. I'm a bit, I'm a bit stupid right there. Also, how are we going to fly this when it's submerged in water? I'm not sure aircraft are built to take off underwater. Ooh. I see a lever. No! We can't take off unless we raise the bridge. Leave that to me. You stay here and make the preparations for takeoff. Was that a high five? <laughs> that was a wonky looking high five. I'm sorry, I see this. Let's take it. Okay, well... Crap. Where did, uh... Uh, can I save at some point? There's no typewriter. It's locked. Okay, well... Oh. Okay, well, I might as well save up here. Uh, oh, there's ink ribbons too. Uh, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, can I actually save? So, how exactly am I supposed to get out of here to do things? Uh, oh, right, okay then. I didn't think to use the stairs. Yep, Claire, just slowly walk out. You know, it's not like we're in the middle of a self-destruct sequence. Also, it's quite a long self-destruct system, I'll admit. I'm not complaining, of course. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, nope. Hmm, maybe there was something over here. Okay. Okay, Claire, no offence. Now, given all the action pack stuff you've managed to do in the opener of this game, why can't you just, I don't know, jump over to the other side? I've walked right in front of you, I'm an idiot. Uh, I probably should kill those guys, but... I don't know. <laughs> I don't have that much ammo to be honest, so I don't want to. Okay, was there anything here to... Nope, there wasn't. Just a bridge. I don't know if there was anything over here, though. Uh, okay, can I... Can I use you for you? Uh, can I press you? I'm confused. I'm, uh, nothing up here I think. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. I've gotten a lever. Oh! Uh, ah, okay! I never found this before. Aha! Raise the lever! But wait, how am I supposed to get back over? Steven? How am I supposed to get back to you? I guess I'm just gonna have to follow where this door leads me. I've been noticing as well, the heartbeat is going through nearly every door I do lately. That's, uh, that's worrisome. Okay, so... Oh, no. 
They're gonna come to life, aren't they? Oh! Okay, they're not gonna come to life. Okay, I think I remember... I think I remember the... The door now. So I think I even selected it just before I came up here. It is great that this self-destruct sequence is uh, not taking too long. Oh no, it's taking its time. Even Umbrella realised, you know what, these people aren't fast like the Flash, so let's give them a chance to escape. Okay, so let's use you for you. Aha! So, what does this do exactly? In fact, where is this leading me? I, I just want to get back to Steven. Ah, back here! Okay, okay. Uh, okay, it's grenade launcher ammo. If it, oh, okay, if it's giving me grenade launcher ammo, then that's worrying. Ah, uh, it's probably... Oh, wait a minute. Before I save, I also noticed there were some herbs over here. Am I about to get into a boss fight? I feel like I'm about to get into a boss fight. Oh dear. Though to be fair, we haven't really had a boss fight yet. Alright, let's uh... uh... Where's my grenade launcher? Here you are! Combine you with you, and combine you with you. Yes. Alright. And uh... Just for the heck of it, I should probably bring the other gun as well. The dual wielded one. Because you never know. Alright, now that's safe. Alright then, so how do we get through this door? Uh, can I do something like this? This device controls the air condition. Um, hmm. Can I, like, move these? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I, uh... No? No. Can't be used. Okay, well, how do I... Can I push these things? Can I not just duck under? Um... Can I interact with this? Game, you're not really giving me many options here. Okay, what the fuck? I was pushing against this for so long. Are you are you kidding me? Like for real? No, no. Are you are you for real kidding me? I was grinding against everything for ten minutes. Oh my god. Come on, can I? Okay, can I not push this now? Oh wait a minute. Oh wait a minute. Come on. Push it, Claire. Push it. Surely, Claire, surely you could push this. No? Um, do I need to? Okay. I didn't think I could push this, but okay. What does that do? Loaded block in the door. I can't use it. What? Can I push you in now? I'm just blocking the door. There. Okay, it's all the way in there. Okay, Tr people, I was literally trying to do everything in my power to move something, and for the life of me, it wouldn't work. Until detonation. Of course, five minutes. <laughs> I took so long, now it's five minutes. Unless this is scripted. And door, could you. Clay, you didn't need to wait for it to open all the way. Uh, I think we're about to get into a boss fight, though. I will not allow you fools to escape. This is what oh. you get for trying to oppose me. Now feel my revenge. <laughs> That's a very strange man, lady, thing. Oh, oh shit! Is that a tyrant? Is that Mr. X's cousin? Oh, Tiddy Winkles. 
Yeah, honestly, lady, I'm not scared of the self-destruct system anymore. We've we got freaking uh, Mr. X's uh, freaking grandchildren here. Okay, all good. Freaking Trevor Trevor, I forgot about him. I must escape quickly. Oh, oh right, I need to come back. I need to go back. I think that was the first time Trevor Trevor's ever hit me. Okay, yeah, I think we just need to uh, go back the way we came. Okay, come on. Uh, oh. <laughs> Why would you stop? Oh, yep, just run. I'm not gonna fool you, yeah. I'm just gonna... I guess I have no choice, but I have to fight him. Oh, good. Oh, please. Okay, yep, I, I'm busy. I know my... Oh. oh, can I not... Oh, okay. I was going by Resident Evil Remake logic, and I was thinking once I uh, knocked him down, that was when I uh, did my thing. You know, I ran away. Okay. Okay, so is it if I'm walking into them, then I, if I'm running into them, I can't push them? Okay. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I've been doing it wrong, because I've been trying to like hastily push it quickly by moving fast. Alright, let's go and say hi to Mr. X once again, and, uh, you know, or Mr. X's cousin, and then, uh, escape. Leave me alone, Trevor Trevor, you ain't getting another chance to nibble at my clear ass. Alright, so, strategy, I'm gonna bombard him with my bow uh, explosives, and then I'm gonna just start spamming my grenade launcher, because, I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of ammo, so, I am curious how I'm gonna fight this guy. <laughs> Alright then, Mr. X 2.0. Well, I guess you'll be 3.0, I guess. Also, nice butt, man. There's one thing I can compliment you on, it's your butt. Also, am I going to censor that? Is that your dick? Well, I'm, I'm, be I'm not asking him to be pervy. Was that legit your dick that I was just looking at? Okay, uh, I might need to go a bit closer. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, just keep on blasting. Oh, I didn't really do much. And now he's gonna corner me. Right, we're gonna dual wield our way through this. Nope. And Goliath goes down. Only for now, though. I I'm certain this guy <laughs> isn't going down like that. <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned from the Tyrant and Nemesis, they don't give up so easily. It took quite a lot to bring him down, though, I will admit. I could see why they gave me grenade launcher ammo. Also, I know that boss fight wasn't as interesting as, let's say, the previous games, but, you know, this is coming off after Resident Evil uh, 3, let's do more place. Uh, yeah, we need to go. So, I wasn't expecting that boss fight to be anything like... Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought a shark was about to appear then, right next to the sun. But I wasn't expecting, like, the remake type of level, Resident Evil 4 type of boss fight, because I'm aware this is coming right after Resident Evil uh, 3, so, you know, it's going to have your typical boss fight where you just had to shoot them a lot, and they were slow bosses, like, when I played the first games, uh, when I played the first game remastered, the boss fights weren't that impressive, you just mostly had to run away and turn around and shoot them, but, you know, I still thought they had, you know, uh, personality, and Claire, what are you doing? Yeah, can you? Yeah, but I'm glad you idiot. I found that the bosses all had their charm and personalities. Like, even in... I played the Resident Evil 3, uh, the original one, uh, years ago, uh, you know... Uh, after I played the remake, I thought I'd go and play the original, and I was originally going to record it. But I wasn't that interested in it compared to the remakes. It could just be a generation thing where... Oh, oh fuck off, you dickhead. You know, where I never grew up with Resident Evil during the PS1 era, so... You know, I didn't get to experience the horror for that time period. So that's why a lot of the classic bosses don't really creep me out as much as, like, the more modern era 
like, you know, Resident Evil 4 and the remake boss fights, which are very cinematic and big and, you know. Whereas the PS1 ones, eh, they were pretty simple boss fights. What took you so long? I was starting to get worried. You've got no time to explain. Let's go. Yeah, right. fuck you, Steven. Steven. Time to say goodbye to this death trap. Well, are you aware of the shit I had to go through just so we could escape? There's no way we escape. There's no way this is the end of the game. Because we haven't seen Chris or we Albert. Made it. Yahoo! Ugh, it's finally over. Uh, wait, are you two building a romance now? Claire, I'm sorry. I know I caused so... a lot of trouble for you. No, it's okay. It was hard for both of us. I mean, well, more really so for him. You find your brother. Right, he had to gun down his dad. I know what it's like to be alone. Oh, Steve. You're such a pussy. <clears throat> so, where should we go now? I can take you anywhere you want to go, Claire. <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. You got it. <laughs> um, Claire, don't you want to look for your brother? That was the whole point we started doing this. Also, I, I guarantee you... That crazy guy's going to be in the back of the plane. Oh, no, he's back at the facility. Oh my god, he's going to shoot us down, isn't he? He's going to shoot us down, the bastard. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, there's bullets there. Nice. This game is not over yet. Oh now shit. We will see what real oh. is all about. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that surprised he has a jet plane. I just didn't realize it was a military grade jet plane. Oh my goodness, are we gonna have to fight him while he's in the jet plane or is he just gonna shoot us down? And away he goes. Ah. Yep. I'm hey, thinking we're gonna have to shoot him. The... the cargo room hatch is open. I'll go back and check it out. Uh oh, right. spaghetti -o's. I've unlocked the cargo room door. Okay, then we should probably uh, save. Yep. Even though I'm, I think I'm in my red zone now. <laughs> I should probably heal up at some point. Please give me some extra ammo, game light. <laughs> I don't have many bullets. <laughs> I don't even have a grenade launcher. <laughs> I has nothing. Nothing. <laughs> She's probably dumped some things off. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. Uh, please, I must have something here. Come on, I must have some extra ammo. Ooh, gas round, acid round. Okay, yeah, I actually do have some grenade launcher ammo. Nice. Alright. I, mean, I don't think I'm going to need grenade launcher ammo, because, uh, who knows, I think this is going to be like some sort of turret section where you have to try and shoot down the jet plane. Ooh, the heartbeat. Dun dun. Dun dun. Any second now, just going to, yep, slowly open that door. I never quite understand those really slow door open bits of all. Oh, piss. Oh, thank goodness he doesn't have a dick then. Okay, how did you get on? Like, were you uh, were you holding onto his plane? Oh, oh shit, you grew a claw. Um. Uh, oh, material preparation complete. Catapult ready. Catapult ready? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, I... Wasn't aware these planes had a catapult. Ah, I get you now. So I need to, once it's ready, then I need to uh, hit him. All right. Well, that ow, my spine. Oh god, I am so close to death. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay then. Uh, here's another. 
Mm. Acid rounds are out. Uh, not great. Okay, just getting me into a combo. That's great. I love it. Um, can I at least wound you? No, it doesn't. Oh, God. Wow. He just one-shot me. Okay. I am... Um, Okay then, so maybe I shouldn't waste my uh, ammunition on him, or at least not the grenade launcher. I think I literally just need to just run around in a circle until the catapult is ready to just boosh him out the ship. <laughs> out the ship? I mean the plane. <laughs> Any moment now, game. Come on, we need to get back into the action. I got Mr... I don't want to call him Mr. X, because that's what the tyrant in the second game was called. We'll call you... We'll call you Mr. X-2. Yeah, Mr. X-2. <laughs> That's the best name I can give you. Alright, yeah, let's get the catapult ready to send this bitch out. Yep. Yeah. Alright, and catapult! Fear by box. And I'm not saying that because I'm playing as a woman. Alright. I'm at least going to attempt to damage him with, like, you know, oh god, ow, my butt, I like the way I just slid on my butt, oh shit, yeah, I am so close to death, um, yeah, might as well use my last, uh, explosive arrow, and, Claire, where the fuck were you aiming at? Listen, no, 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 I don't care if I was controlling her, like, oh my god, literally two shots me. <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? Mr. X2? Mr. X2 large? <laughs> Alright then, so... Alright, let's uh... I think I'm gonna go with my original strategy and just run around in a circle until uh, the thing's ready to just catapult him out the ship. The plane. I know... I keep saying ship, I don't know why. <laughs> it's a... they call it a cargo ship, so whatever. <laughs> Actually no, I think they call it a cargo plane. Or a cargo bob. <laughs> Alright, yeah, 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 dramatic cutscene. And then we're gonna catapult him. Yep, catapult ready. So close. Alright. Remember I was saying the games weren't, uh, the original games weren't too cinematic? Boy, was I wrong. Alright, ready. Okay, well. Not much I could really do to help because. Oh god, I'm so close to death. <laughs> Yeah, I will admit, dodging this guy is a bit of a pain. Alright. Yeah. Well, there's not much I can really do to this guy. No matter what, he just catapults me. Or well, not catapults me, he just plunges me into the ground. Yeah, look, there's nothing I can do. Okay. And I just get comboed. Really? Oh my god. Game, I was only starting to like you. Please don't make me dislike you again. Alright then. Freaking round four at this point. Alright, I'm gonna kick you out of this ship. Alright. I, I don't even know if I'm hitting. Look, I, I, I cannot run fast enough to dodge it. Look! Look at that! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I get caught in a combo and Claire doesn't recover fast enough. That is such bullshit. And it doesn't mean that I can stun him this time. I feel like this is going to be a raging dude in boss fight. I, I get that feeling. I also feel like this is our first boss fight. Like, a true legit boss fight. I mean, I know we fought him before, but this guy's feeling like a bit of a boss fight type of character. This was another monster I had to shoot off. Not the one old guy, because he just, you know, he was just a new enemy type that I struggled to kill. Oh god, please don't tell me that's what this guy is. Yes, uh, great, and I'm gonna die again. Alright, wait, I just heard the button. Please just, oh my god. Yep. Is this gonna go classic rules I had to hit him three times? Oh my god. I'm nearly dead, so I'm just gonna have to... I'm literally just gonna have to run around until I can, uh... Until I can win. 
Yeah, Clem, please move. Come on, come on, please, please. I'm not even sure if I'm hitting him. Oh, come on, please hurry up. I'm about to die. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm about to die. Game. What the fuck? At least give me better weaponry or something. Alright, let me actually try one of my grenade launcher ammo because maybe they're the way to do this. Please be the last one. Please. Oh, oh my god, finally. Oh my god, that boss fight was. The Fallen Tyrant. <laughs> oh my god, that was infuriating. Look, I had to use both my health and all my grenade launch ammo. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, game. Oh my god, this game's giving me some mixed emotions, I'm gonna be honest. Please, please let that be the last we ever see of Mr. X2. Or at least have a more fun and this what was wrong? crammed oh, nothing. area. Just a giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. <laughs> That's one way to put it. That was one infuriating cockroach. What's happening? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. I'm not sure cargo planes can do that. It's flying in autopilot mode. Oh, okay, good. It's over to manual control. Never mind, I guess it can. But I cannot let you escape now. You know your lips aren't moving, man. Alfred, cross-dressing freak. Where, Alfred? Wait. Wait, what? That's Alfred. So kind of weird music to be playing right now. It's kind of reminding me of Sonic Adventures. Hold on, that was Alfred in another light? I guess he had makeup on, but... No, there's no way Alfred has multiple personality disorder. Maybe he does. Please don't kiss me, this is a little creepy Steven. Yeah, that would have been a little creepy, my man. Yeah, please just, just walk away. Don't come near me again, you creep. Yeah, try and play it off smoothly, man. It's a weird cutscene right now. Hey, where are we? Huh? Latitude, 82.17 degrees. Wait, you mean, you're telling me this whole time you guys just gave up and just didn't bother trying to fix the autopilot? You just That's gave up and just let it Antarctic. take you somewhere? We're over the Antarctic! What? We're not only over the Antarctic, mate, we're crashing hey, towards it! Those are the seaplanes that left the island right before us! Then that must mean... This place belongs to Umbrella! No shit! So are we gonna like not do anything about trying to land? I guess not. Don't worry, we're main characters, we'll be fine. <laughs> Save the first half, end data. Oh! Okay, so this is taking the uh, code uh, uh, Parasite Evil, because um, when I was playing that on my emulator, it was like, um, yeah, start on part two. So I think this game had that sort of same thing. Once you reach the halfway point, that was when you had to stick the other half of the disc in. And now in this day and age, you could literally just put in the whole disc and it would just have the whole game. Eh, you know, have to pay some DLC for some certain oh. things. All right, so we're at the halfway point of the game. Well, maybe the end. No, no, we can't be near the end of the game. Hey, I don't believe that. Wake up, Steve. Steve! Uh, Steven! Uh, my boy! Seriously, the way he tried to kiss Claire was so creepy. Still alive. We're main characters. We get a plot armor. The best armor since Mandalorian Beskar. Is it 
just stop this, man? Just please. Thanks. Claire, don't look, but I have a raging boner now. <laughs> oh, wow, dick. Oh, uh, <coughs> plane's trashed. <laughs> Let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Okay. Why split up? Okay. Let's do it. Also, did, did you lose your guns? Also, why would we split up? You idiot. Alright. I feel like I didn't do enough exploring about, uh, around that base. Oops. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can play for a little bit until we find the next save point. Alright. So, I'm assuming Steve went this way. Do you, Steve went this way, actually. Let's head up this way and uh, see if there's anything new. Alright, so, so far this game's giving me some mixed messages. Uh, oh, emergency evacuation, VTOL, storage, restricted area. Uh, okay, well, I don't think that matters now. I guess it does. Alright, I guess we'll go the way Steve uh, went. Even though he said we should split up, which... Kind of stupid, given the fact, you know, clearly both of us would do better to work together. Alright. This looks lovely. Very inviting. Oh god, there's a zombies. Because of course there is. It's locked. The door is labelled machine room. Alright then, we just need to find a machine room key. Also, these zombies have got hard hats on. They're going to be harder to kill. Plants vs. Zombies taught me that. Uh, okay then. Wonder what horrors await us here. Oh. oh I thought it was a cutscene then. You alright there, dude? Uh, I'm just gonna... Ooh, extra bullets. Thank you. I am running quite low. So, uh, yeah, okay, explosive and arrows are separate. Ooh, and more bullets. Thank you, game. You must realise I'm low on bullets after that boss fight. Is this still free pit? A metal shop machine with a diamond cutting edge. I can use this uh, metal material easily. Oh, it's kind of like that machine we had at the prison. Actually, that does, that reminds me. Oh, God, blue herbs. Oh, no. Is there going to be some poison monsters? Oh, God, please, no. <laughs> Also, um, yeah, where am I that prisoner? Uh, oh, hold on, I saw, it. I think I saw ink through in there. Yeah, um, yeah, that prison guard, is he okay or is he dead? Right. I don't think I want to open you. I can't really open it anyway. I do see some stuff in there I want. But yeah, um... Yeah, I hope that prison guard's okay. I, I liked him. He was nice. Ah, shut up, zombies. You can't even reach me. Stop your moaning. Mona Lisa's. Alright, let's head uh, this way then. Oh, I see a door. Hold on. What secrets await us? Oh. A lot of that guy is just staring at the corpse. Oh, you're clearly going to come to life. I feel like a lot of you are going to come to life, so I'm much more... Ah, come on, you can't step over his corpse just to read that book. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to come to life. Yeah, oh my goodness, look, the camera's panning on him, like, come on, game. I think I'm going to have to bust out my pistol. Oh, I'm about to bust. Alright, what's this? Ooh, gunpowder, nice. And yep. Ooh, there's more ammo there. Game, are you trying to fool me? I don't like being fooled by a game. I feel like the game's trolling me, or he's gonna come alive immediately, pretend like, oh no, you got jump scared. You better not fucking jump scare me. Ah, see, game, I'm onto you. I'm onto you like ugly on your mama. Stay down, you bitch face. Alright. See, 
Resident Evil, you know, you know what you need to realise? I haven't played your games long enough to know your bullshit. Oh god. Oh god, that is actually quite a lot. Oh god, why are you so fast? Seriously, why are you so fast? Just because you have a hard hat on doesn't mean you're faster. That's not how zombies work. Or maybe it does, I don't know, I'm not a zombie expert. I just know the basic shit. See if there's anything in it. Ooh, yes, there is. You're trying to be sneaky, game. And there's another item. Yes, there is. See, the game knew <laughs> it was going to be bullshit with me and gave me all this ammo. Ugh. I don't like the way they twitch. Right, and it's all bullets here. Give me, give me. Thank you, thank you. All right, what is this notebook? I saw you highlighted. Worker's diary. October 30th. Hey, three days after my birthday. When I joined Umbrella Inc, I thought that I would be able to live carefree for the rest of my life. Be employed by this huge corporation. <laughs> I have wishful thinking. It's a joke that I ended up being a driver at a place like this. I was for a position change, but they completely ignored me. It feels more like a prison. Work is extremely demanding, and there's nothing fun about it. I'd rather be dead. Oh, I think you got your wish, mate. My hard earned vacation was cancelled suddenly. I heard they failed to secure enough manpower due to a mistake made by facility head Alfred. That fool doesn't deserve forgiveness. He doesn't even treat us like human beings. He, he's Alfred. He's a bit of a dick. <laughs> I heard an interesting story from a guy who's been working here for over eight years. He must be awfully patient. He says that there is a man who has been confined for over ten years, locked up in a cell located deep below here. People call him Nosferatu. Oh, fuck. That's a monster I'm going to look forward to. And are deathly afraid of him. Absurd story. At midnight, I woke up to an anonymous growling sound that seemed to be coming from deep underground. So pathetic to have been frightened by such a foolish story. Then again, I suppose anyone would have a hard time maintaining their sanity if they were confined in a place like this. Well, it seems as though uh, <laughs> you were confined to die. Okay, well, I didn't get any key item. I just got. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, there's a map. Alright, Antarctic map. Oh, quite a mess. Is there another on the floor there? No? Okay. I think it's just a bit of decoration. Alright, it's good that we've got a map now. Is there anything over here? Nope. I bet this must have been workers logging. Lounging. Indeed. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Ah, what secrets are you hiding? Did I not interact with the door? Hmm, guess I didn't. I don't really check the map often. I should start doing that more often, just so I know where I'm uh, going. Oh wait, I didn't check down these stairs. Yeah. I think that was just a room just to find all this uh, stuff. I, like, I wish there was a safe room near me, because um, I found quite a bit. And I'm scared I'm gonna die. Oh. A monster might have been... In the killer. Um, mm, yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. Oh, let's just go through this door. <laughs> I I don't really want to say hello to Mr. Moth. I just want to go in here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it's definitely like a safe room. So I see some arrows, thank you. Let's right, so combine you, so I got a uh, room. Ah, oh, is this what I'm going to need the blue herbs for? Alright, there's an indentation on the shape of a helmet. Alright, and so... Okay, so we need to use that to get into there. I don't like the noise it's making. I'm going to use this book. It seems something was dragged down here. Ooh! Ah! A secret. Hello? Do I really want to open you? Yes, I definitely do. Oh, you goddamn rat! Ah, uh, you creepy bastard. <laughs> okay, ooh, butler's letter. Sir Alfred, please forgive me as I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father, Lord Alexander, and have for so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family. 
Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly 50 years ago, did an accident during an experiment, took the life of our dear Elixir. You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age, and nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow of having lost all your family members at once. Oh! So I guess Alfred does suffer from, like, uh, mental issues, like, uh, multiple personality. There was nothing I could do, and I felt powerless. I first thought I should kill myself to apologise. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a drastic apology, Sir Alfred. I then realised that it would be an insult to my dear Lord Alexander and Alexander in the other world. Alright, Scott Harmon Butler. Okay. This is a switch. Push the button! Seems to operate on electricity. No response. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, now, you know what, actually, I think this would be a good point to uh, leave on. We could be at the halfway point, we could actually be at the finale. Um, we haven't found Chris yet, though, which I thought was the main gimmick of this game, but regardless, uh, we're going to save up here, and we're gonna, I'm going to try and finish this game uh, this week. I'm, gonna, I'm not making any promises. I know my scheduling has been a bit randomised compared to my past and even earlier this year, but... A lot's gone on this year, that's been a bit of a headache. Uh, I will do an update video explaining everything that's going on and where things will be going uh, leading forward in this uh, channel. But regardless of that though, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw here and be sure to share the video around and get the channel growing and stick around. We might have more videos for you in the future. Farewell everybody.